This is Unity, Joy of Life. I'm Nancy Norman, and this is your weekly wisdom. We are studying the ideas of prosperity, and I want to share with you what my understanding of prosperity is. So many people think that prosperity is simply money, and that may be true for them, but for me, prosperity is that sense of well-being in every area of my life. That sense of be being able to do what I want to do when I want to do it. That sense of well-being. It's not just money, but it is health and wholeness, vitality. It is wonderful friends and, and family. It's success in our business or in our career. That sense of well-being in every part of our life, that is prosperity. And yes, that includes money, but it's not just money. So we have found that words are creative. There's power in the spoken word. If you want to be more prosperous in your life, then you need to speak definite words of prosperity and speak them out loud with power and authority. Jesus had no problem speaking words out loud with power and authority. Remember the story of Lazarus? He'd been dead for four, for four days. And Jesus came to his home and the sisters said, Oh my God, if you'd just been here earlier, Lazarus has passed away. He's died and um, he's, he's been buried. The way they buried people at that time was in caves. And then they'd roll stones in front of the caves. And Jesus said, no problem. He then asked the people there to roll away the stones. And he said, Father, thank you. I know you have heard me. And then with power and authority, he said, Lazarus, come out. And out walked Lazarus. Don't be afraid to be bold. Know what you want. That's the first thing. Know what you want and then speak words of what you want, the definition of what you want. Remember, there's good, there's greater good for you and you ought to have it. And then you name your greater good. And you do it with power and authority. It is said that if you spend some time affirming and speaking out loud, with feeling, it uh, uh, helps your demonstration. Now, Jesus also, throughout his whole ministry, he would simply speak words of what he wanted with power and authority. There was the man at, at Bethesda who had been by the pool of Bethesda, which was a healing pool. He'd been there for 38 years, and it was felt that an angel came every so often and, 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 and disturbed the water. And it was at that point in time that every, everyone rushed into the pool. And this man could not, could not get there fast, fast enough. And so Jesus came to the pool of Bethesda and saw this man. And he said, do you want to be healed? That's a fair question. Do you want to be healed? Do you want to be prosperous? Do you want to be loved? And so the man said, yes, I want to be healed. And with power and authority, Jesus boldly said, then pick up your bed and walk. In the Lord's Prayer, Jesus said, give us this day our daily bread. Give us this day our daily bread. You know, there was a man in uh, early metaphysician, Neville was his name, and he believed in the power of the word. He believed he, you definitely had to be um, very clear about what you wanted, and then write it down, and then he felt you should be very clear with the spoken word. He said, be surrounded by your answer. Be enveloped by what you desire. Make a future dream a present fact. Assume the feeling of your wish fulfilled. Assume the feeling of your wish fulfilled. So 
this lesson in prosperity is to know what you want, be definite, write it down, be clear, be clear, feel it, say it, and say it loud and clear with power and authority. You notice in any of these instances, Jesus didn't beg and plead. He stated his desire. He stated his desire with power and authority. The Bible tells us, Thou shalt decree a thing, and it shall be established to you, and light shall shine upon your ways. The Bible tells us, it's in Job 22, verse 25. You shall decree a thing, and it shall be established unto you, and light shall shine upon your ways. So take an affirmation and speak it loud and clear, just for a few moments, every morning, every evening, throughout the day every single day. Prosperity is yours and you have to get definite about it, about what you want. Write it down and then begin speaking it, feel it, and then begin speaking it with power and authority. As Neville said, be surrounded by your answer, be enveloped by what you desire, Make a future dream a present fact. Assume the feeling of your wish fulfilled. And I would say, assume the feeling of your desire fulfilled. God bless you, and have a wonderful, wonderful week. Remember, your words are creative. Your words are creative. So find some, find out what you want, and then have some affirmations that you can declare with power and authority, just like Jesus did. Be surrounded by your answer. Be enveloped by what you desire. Make a future dream a present fact. Assume the feeling of your desire fulfilled. Have a fabulous week. God bless you.